What's going on everybody? It's your boy Kryptonian saying here bringing you guys another review for Black Clover and in the latest chapter of Black Clover we got one hell of a development arc for Asta being set up right now that's going to make him mastering the power of Zed and feel very earned, extremely earned and we got to see how even when Yuno isn't physically in the chapter, Yuno still manages to push Asta's character forward by making him look at his own flaws and his weaknesses, another sign of the great healthy rivalry between the two of them and most importantly we see that the Ryuzen have now engaged in battle against Lucius Paladins. The chapter goes by pretty quickly but it's a fun chapter with nice character moments sprinkled in so with my initial thoughts out of the way let's dive into the chapter recap itself and sprinkle in some of the observations. The chapter opens up with the flashback where Ryuya tells Ichika and Asta that the enemy has finally arrived fulfilling the scene that we saw a few chapters ago but never fully got to see the fallout from the events itself. So, Asta states his desire to join in the fight, but Ryuya correctly tells Asta, yo, pump the brakes for a second. There's no point for him rushing into a fight that number one, he can't win, and number two, Ryuya knows that Asta is not mentally prepared for this fight, but we as readers don't quite know it yet. But we will know that towards the end of the chapter, which is very nice foreshadowing for what's eventually coming. It's then that we see Asta has continued his training with the two Ryus and members who has stayed behind to complete Asta's training. To Despite them desperately wanting to head out into the battlefield, they stay behind to train Asta at the personal behest of Ryuya, the Shogun of the Rising Sun. During the course of the fight, we notice right away that Asta is struggling in more ways than one. On the surface level, he's struggling in the battle because he's not quite getting an opening on the Ryuzen member that he's fighting against. And even if there were to be an opening, Asta as he is currently lacks the proper skill to take advantage of said opening. Though this isn't as brutal brutal in my opinion as the fights with Ichika is still a great breaking down of Asa's character done in a very systematic fashion yet again showing him that no matter how powerful he's gotten there will always be a level of power that is above him that he hasn't cleared and there'll be new types of magic and new types of abilities that if he isn't focused if he isn't sharp if his mind body and spirit are not connected he can't overcome it with just his raw talents and physical gifts one of the reason members plays a musical instrument with the properties of healing so it also manages to raise the strength level of the Ryuza member that Asta is fighting. It's then that we see the struggle for Asta. It isn't just physical but it's also mentally and spiritually. Asta's mind has been blocked and Asta's heart is wavering despite his body doing the best that it can to overcome the obstacles placed in front of Asta and help Asta complete his training. The member who we see Asta fighting remarks that he can see why Ryuya took a huge liking to Asta, but at this point, he never will complete his Zedin. It will be a failure always because Asta's heart isn't in it. He can tell this because Asta continues to hesitate, and the reason why he hesitates is because Asta's katana gives away the wavering of his heart. It's at this moment we see a light bulb go off in Asta his head and we see Asta dive deeper into his heart allowing his thoughts to wander and Asta recalls the demons that he's facing he thinks about how he was unable to save sister Lily someone who he's known his entire life he's been obsessed with winning her heart in a romantic fashion but he lost her to the rogue wizard king Lucius he thinks about the embarrassing loss to Lucius and how he never really stood a chance during that battle similar to how he doesn't really stand a chance during the sparring sessions of this training right here and with this training with each he thinks to himself he's unable to be strong again and the losses in his combat training with Ichika pile up in his head. Asa's spirit is continuing to be stripped down and we see how much seeing Sister Lily be taken over and nearly getting killed by his childhood idol had absolutely wrecked Asta emotionally because he went from being happy a few chapters ago that he's been given new renewed hope that he can grow stronger to now dealing with the frustration of not being strong enough, of being weak essentially and I love that because what we're seeing here is when Asta is at his lowest, that's when the light begins to start sparking at the end of the tunnel. That light is Yuno. Asta thinks of Yuno, thinking that Yuno could have saved Sister Lily and wouldn't have lost in the battle against Lucius, which that is high praise right there. We know that's Cap, but Asta doesn't quite understand it. He thinks of how Yuno became a Grand Magic Knight well before him, and how even after all of this, Yuno is still probably stronger 
Venom. However, we as the audience know the true dynamic between the two, how they ultimately push each other forward and how this will be the thing that pushes Asta forward. But right now, he's got to overcome his hesitation, which means connecting his mind, his body, and his spirit together as one. But he can't do so until he conquers the fear and the hesitation in his heart. It's a great use of internal conflict to manifest in an external way because Asta's internal struggles are preventing him from completing his training, which will only make that payoff that much sweeter. We then jump into the fight with the five Ryus and members, and after we get that comical scene where one of the girls is claiming this is going to be the last day that she's ever alive, we see Sister Lily's horn get completely cut off, and we see another sign that Sister Lily's changed for the worst by Lucia. She says that she's dealing with a peasant, which, wow. The Sister Lily who we thought we knew throughout the entirety of Black Clover before this arc would have never said anything like this, using the word peasant in a way that's an insult, which makes you look at Lucius and what it is he's trying to do in a completely different light now. He wants to change the world, but in his effort to change things, he's actually bringing out some of the uglier aspects of humanity in the process and changing the very things about people like Sister Lily that made them special as human beings in their own right. And and I think it's great because it opens up the door for Asta to be the flaw in his plans in more than one way. It's not enough that Asta is the flaw to Lucy's plan for an ideal world because Asta has anti-magic. That works for the external conflict for Lucius. But good villain versus hero dynamics is one that makes the use of internal and external conflict as well as most importantly, the symbolism, which is what we see here being set up with Asta's actions. The heart that he's trying to conquer right now with this training and his spirit are going to feel that conflict for Lucius when it comes to internal conflict and symbolic conflict because Asa's rising as the light to meet Lucius' darkness. The boy who can't use magic has anti-magic and is a foil for his ideal world will likely also be a foil for his ideal world because of the very heart that drove Asa to overcome the obstacles set before him by this world and make the bonds that he did along the way, each of which help him get to this point, something that Lucius can't understand. So my chapter question for you guys is how do you guys feel about Asa's internal conflict? Is this a good justification for extending his training? And do you think Asa was just full of cap when he said that he thinks that if you know had been there sister lily never gets taken over and potentially even manages to survive the fight against lucius while you think that over click here to watch these other black clover videos on the channel